Yeah, Puzzle YouTube, Six Foot Hacks here. Happy you guys today a show down live in the PU tier using a pretty awesome team that was passed to me by a bullet punch club homie and uh, Mr. Tone. His channel link and stuff will be down below for you guys to go check out. But this is a really cool hyper offensively based team. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to show off your support, hit that like button. Hammer that like button, smack that like button, slam that like button down below, whatever you want to do to it. So obviously we have a uh, dual hazard lead crustal here. We have shell smashing Terminator, which is really awesome. Been wanting to really try out Terminator in PU. We have a pretty awesome Pokemon in Jump Pluff. I would like to have Sleep Powder in certain matchups I've had with this game, but Memento is really nice just to be able to help Terminator set up late game. We have a soft rapid spin check in uh, ghost type. Oracorio here. We have Hitmonchan, our rapid spinner and kind of like revenge killer. Also pseudo hard hitting Mon. And then finally off we have something pretty interesting which is a Bandit Skuntank. I've actually never in my life of Pokemon have tried Bandit Skuntank so really excited to uh, to hopefully put in some work with this. But yeah that is the quick run through of the team. Let's go ahead and uh, get this started. Alright, so uh, PU recently came out of its uh, alpha stage and we are in beta, so I don't think I've played too many games, so what better way to climb the ladder than with some nice uh, hyper offense here. Actually, hold on, how, how fast is his Terranator at plus two? I think it's like 370, maybe? I could be wrong. I'm not good with that. Oh yeah, look at that. It was close enough. It was six points off. So 376. We should outspeed everything uh, that is not scarfed on his team. So looking at leads, kind of just want to lead Crustle. I almost don't want to lead Crustle because I feel like he's going to lead Ditto. And if he leads Ditto, that could be really bad. I think I'm going to lead uh, Yadagarasu here. As he actually ends up leading off with Behem, this is really good. Because if you look at his team, he literally has no switch-ins to Revelation Dance. This turns into a Ghost-type stab move. Uh, although I guess he could try to switch in the Drampal. So I think I'd rather just safely U-turn here as he actually stays in. Okay, what's he gonna go for? Trick Room? That's not entirely too bad. I honestly think I can just Pursuit Trap this here, and this is dying. I'm Adamant Choice Bandit. This is dying. His best switching, well, hold on. His best switching would be the Crabomitable, I'm pretty sure. I could Poison Jab, maybe. Hold on, hold on. Now that I think about it, I kind of want to Poison Jab, but I don't think I 2 a KO the... The Corbomitable on the switch in. Let's see. Then again, I've never used uh, Choice Bandit Skun Tank, so you never know. Corbomitable custom set, probably just max HP, right? Choice. Ooh, that does a lot. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna poison jab here. Even if he stays in, yeah, you're dying. <laughs> this is dying for sure. Okay, so down that goes. That's good. Although he did get off a huge hit with Hidden Power Ground. I was not expecting Hidden Power Ground. That's a little bit scary, actually. Kind of wish I had gone for the Sucker Punch now, but I mean, it, it's fine. It's not that big of an issue. Uh, in comes the Drampaw. Hmm. I'm not really going to get too much use out of Skuntank here anymore. So he's going to knock me out. As I could bring in my Crustle here and probably just get a Brox, I'm thinking. I could also go for the Stone Edge for damage. I think rocks would be nice just for, for hazards. So we do have a Sash. Uh, either way, I mean, we're st like we're in sturdy. Hello. I don't really think he should have wasted his move there. It seems a little bit odd to me. Does Trevenant learn uh, Trick Room? I don't know. I actually don't know. I'm a little scared if it does now. Uh, I'm gonna try and get up a layer of spikes if for some reason he wanted to uh, to switch out there. So with the with the Trick Room gone, this does give me a free switch into my Hitmonchan here. I kind of just want to go for the Ice Punch, honestly. Like, if we Dracos, that could be a little bit annoying, but we're still going to smack something with Ice Punch. Yeah, plus Trevenant coming in was a little bit on the obvious side. So this is going to do a lot of damage. Enough to the point where we can maybe... Yes, we can definitely knock him out with another one. As long as that wasn't like an absolutely low roll, we should be good here. Yeah, even if he brings in the Barbarical, we can just go for a Drain Punch, Mock Punch. as he goes for Shell Smash. Uh, Drain Paul is not switching in either. Neither is the Ditto, and neither is the Kerbomitable. Yeah, Hitmonchan, once he lost, Behem became a huge threat here. So he's going to try and protect up. That's not really going to help you, Doug. Because I'm pretty sure I just claim a soul here with Hitmonchan. Like, there's, there's nothing he can honestly do. I guess 
if that was like an absolute max roll and then I get a um, absolute mineral which is 65% which I highly doubt then that's the only way Trevenant lives unfortunately why did this go off oh it's Kyle hey Kyle Kyle A aka Kyle Bay uh let's see yeah like I'm trying to figure out like what he could honestly do like if he even if he predicts me to ice punch and brings in Corbominable or Barbarical it doesn't really matter yeah like this does not matter hello that's that, that's kind of decent damage. That's kind of decent damage. I almost wanted to make this Hitmonchan, um, what's it called? Uh, assault Vest. But so far, Fistplate has really been doing a lot of work. So yeah, I honestly don't care if he wants to bring in the Trevenant. Because even after Rocks, he's not going to be in range of where his uh, Citrus Berry is going to activate. So... We are still going to be able to knock him out because he would only twig he would only twig he would only take 12 percent so he'd be at 13 percent uh 53 percent sorry in comes the hitmon chen uh this thing is kind of a problem i mean we live any hit honestly yeah like i don't care <laughs> that actually did zero okay no it did it did do a lot of damage but it's fine because mock punch should definitely knock him out here yeah and he should be locked into the into that move so we're gonna knock him out here that's really good it looks like barbarical can maybe come in here i don't know the speed of barbarical honestly hold on how fast is barbarical because i need to know this oh no we outspeed uh what if he's jolly oh okay so if he's jolly he outspeeds and he just leaves okay well let's go ahead and get another one okay so this team looks a little bit more terrifying uh defog swan as i said i've seen on the forum so that's what i'm expecting this to be this could be Bandit or Groundium Z Ninjas. That could be a little bit scary. Uh, still kind of want to lead Crustle, honestly. I'm going to lead Crustle. Because we can get up our rocks. We can start applying pressure. Uh, if he leads Golurk, we have the knockoff. So I'll go for rocks, then go for knockoff. Are we jolly? We should be jolly, right? Yeah, okay. So unless he's running like max speed Golurk, we should outspeed it. Which it should be like close to max speed anyways, yeah. So I'm going to try to get on my rocks here as luckily we are faster than them. Unfortunately though, he's got the dynamic punch and that is a little bit annoying. It's actually really damn annoying. Uh, please, please. Ah, damn it. Let's try that again. He's going to try and knock off here. Yes, okay, good. This way, because I want to burn the Colber Berry. I really just want to burn the Colber Berry. And he's got no switch-ins to an Adamant Choice Bandit Skunk Tank. Ooh. I'm about to claim a soul here. Yes. Something is getting absolutely nuked. I also need to make sure to not lose my Skunk Tank. Because Musharna could then just uh, kind of drop me on my neck. I really wish I had hit that knockoff on the first one. Because then I could have got up a layer of spikes. But I thought it was more important to at least get rid of the of the Culber Berry on Gorla. This way I could just safely revenge kill. As in comes the Buffalon. This thing is a little bit scary. I have to make the switch into my Oracorio here, even if he predicts this. Which thankfully he doesn't. But I don't want to have to hurricane here. I really, really don't. I really, really don't want to have to hurricane. Hmm. I could U-turn on the Stone Edge potentially. Into Hitmonchan, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to U-turn into Hitmonchan here. He should have Earthquake, like Head Smash, Stone Edge, possibly. I think Buffalon learns Pursuit. I think it does. I want to say it learns Pursuit. Ah, oh, man, why is Hurricane 70 accuracy? It's so annoying. Yeah, and unfortunately it doesn't get any other better flying stab. And then, obviously, I don't want to go for Air Slash, because for one, I know that's not going to knock him out. And for two, it's, I'm probably going to miss, not my luck. <laughs> I'm not going to flinch it anyway, so. Yeah, I kind of just want a U-turn here. He could try to switch, yeah, as he brings in the Ludicolo. I don't know why he brought that in. Why would you bring this in? This actually makes no sense. Hello? That actually does... I, I can't fathom why he would bring this in. Like, I'm ac I'm acrobatics in here. Like, something something is going to get smacked. If he brings in the Musharna, that could be a little bit annoying. Uh, Buffalon's a decent middle ground switch in if he expects me... Well, no, he shouldn't expect me to Sleep Powder or Ludicolo. So yeah, I really lose nothing in just going for acrobatics here. I'm pretty sure it'll do 66 min to a defensive Ludicolo. It is, um, it is two times boosted, and I know I don't have an item. That's because it's not supposed to have an item to be able to do damage. So yeah, he does end up making the safe switch into the Buffalo. That's fine. 
So that actually is pretty respectable damage. Hmm. Do I want to afford to lose this? I don't think he's got the Stone Edge, honestly. Hmm. Can I Memento? No, I don't think I can Memento yet with Terminator and win. Because if this is Groundium Z Ninjas, I think it just comes in and knocks me out, unfortunately. I mean, Ninjask in general is still kind of a problem. So I could try and go for Memento here just to weaken his team and try to put myself in a better scenario is what I'm thinking. Uh, let's see. Terminator. Ninjask. Ah, oh, that doesn't do entirely too much. What if he has a ground DMZ with Dig, though? I've seen that set on the forums as well. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Is that what Choice Man? Ah, oh, that still does too much. I'm pretty sure Buffalon just annihilates me here, too. Ah, damn it. Mm. Yeah, unless he gets like an absolute minimum roll, he knocks us out here, unfortunately. I want to say just getting off the damage is going to be better, honestly. Yeah, if we can maybe live, that'd be great. Mint? Oh, yes! That did zero. Awesome. I'll, I'll gladly take that. I really wish I had got a higher damage roll though, because that extra 4% would have put him in 31% and then we could have knocked him out there. So we are too low to where we can live. Ugh, damn it. See? See? If I had got... If I didn't get a low damage roll on that second acrobatics, we would have knocked him out here. So this does give me a free switch into my oracorio here and I can probably just go safely for the U-turn. But I want to make sure that we can knock him out. Hold on. Am I not oracorio ghost? Hello? Why does it not have it on here? Okay, well, that's kind of annoying. Do 10%. Oh, awesome. Doesn't even do 10%. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's actually a little detrimental. I'm not going to lie. That's a little bit scary. Uh, if I bring in Hitmonchan, he just gets a free switch in the Skun Tank. I think I have to bring in my Yadogarasu here and just go for the Air Slash. Honestly, just hope I don't miss. Please don't miss. There's 5% chance to miss, and I know I'm going to miss. Thank you, I did not miss. So, down goes the Buffalon, that's really good. I don't mind losing Jump Pluff, because his Buffalon was really his only uh, real switch in to, to this monster right here. Because now I should be able to just safely Hurricane. Like, you're dying. Please don't protect. Please don't protect. Be bad. Be bad and don't protect. Oh, don't protect. He should protect. If he's got protect, he should definitely go for the protect. Yes! He doesn't have protect, or he's bad and just didn't go for it. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Down it goes. In comes the Musharna. I have to hard switch right in the Skun Tank. Uh, we are Adam and Choice banded with Crunch. We're gonna absolutely nuke this thing. He's got no switch in. Yeah, doesn't matter. That's still doing a lot of damage. You're dying. Oh, Barrier. That's actually kind of scary. That does a lot. Okay, we have to get a defense drop here if I want to be able to knock this out. Oh, this could be a little bit bad now. Like, he... Okay, good. Yes, I will take that. So we are going to be able to knock him out here. Yeah, we had to get the, the defense drops in order to knock him out here. So this is Adam and Choice Band. This is still dying. Down that goes. That's really good. In comes the Swana. Hmm. He could just go straight for the Hurricane. At this one, I honestly don't need Hitmonchan. I'm really not doing anything considering the fact that... Yeah, like this is not doing anything to the to the Musharna, unfortunately. Hmm. Would it be worth just rapid spinning here? He could just go for defog, honestly. I'm gonna rapid spin. Or he could just go for the hurricane, yeah. I thought that maybe he would switch in the Musharna there, like that wouldn't have been a bad play for him to have done either. I think we can win here with Terminator, actually. So I have to go for the Shell Smash. Yeah, because we should live any one hit. I'm very positive we live one hit. Yes! No hurricane. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, Swana, defensive Swana. 
I doubt he's max HP. Terminator! Terminator to God is gonna come through! Please, Terminator, please, 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 Terminator! Terminator, Terminator! No! Oh, okay, no, this is bad. This is bad. Actually, no, this is not that bad. This is not that bad. I'm overreacting. I'm overreacting. Hold on, hold on. Which one is it? Which one is it? Eh, I don't think it matters. It's like, both of these kill. Yeah, they're both killing. It doesn't really matter. Devastating Drake! Yes! Terminator, you're gonna come through! As long as I don't miss... Actually, no, I don't even have to rely on the miss because... We are going to knock this out. Yeah, uh, let me take the Z-move off. Oh, no, hold on. I think I do have to Draco. No, I don't have to Draco. Actually, no, do I want to Draco? Dracoing would be the safer play. If I missed, that would actually really, really suck. That would really, really suck. Oh, no, he just left. Okay, awesome. So we didn't have to rely on the Dracoing there. So Terranator putting the team on his back in battle number two. Let's go get another one. Okay, so this is a pretty cool looking team. Uh, potential Defog Mega B, I guess. Not Mega B. Defog Beedro. That'd be, that'd be interesting. Uh, rocks are definitely going to be huge. And I'm just going to lead off Crustle. Oh, no. That's this, Why is this PU? This actually terrifies me. The fact that this is PU. Hold on. Okay, clearly I do not want to stay in here. Please don't quiver dance. Thank you. And now I should be able to just go straight for an acrobatics. Uh, I kind of want a U-turn, honestly. Scout out to see if he's got the, uh, the hidden power. But Yadagorasu should be able to come in here relatively easily. Yeah, we are still scarfed. And we ought to beat this. Oh, I have to rely on the move, don't I? Don't I? Let's see. Air Slash. Hurricane. Little Miss Lilligant here. Why is Lilligant in PU? That doesn't make any sense. That's actually kind of terrifying because this thing could potentially sweep me. Oh, awesome. Awesome. So, I can guarantee a revenge kill with Ma Champ. I mean, him on Chan here. Which I think I would rather do. Like, I would rather just air slash here and be on the safe. Bro! Bro! Come on! <sighs> it must be nice. It must actually just be really nice. Uh, are you. You're dumb! Why would you? <laughs> oh, what the hell is going on? Just die. Okay, good. Down goes the Lilligant. <laughs> oh my God. Now, unfortunately, my Yadagarasu is asleep. See, see, if I had gone for Hurricane, I guarantee I would have hit. If I went for Hurricane, I guarantee I would have hit. In comes this Lapras. Uh, this could be kind of annoying, maybe. Do I need this for anything? It does kind of just stop Charizard from wrecking shop to an extent. I can also set up on the Beedrill. I can set up on the Ampharos as well. Uh, I may just switch right into Hitmonchan, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna just switch into Hitmonchan. If he burns me here, I quit. Okay, I was about to say I just quit if he burns me because that's gonna be utterly dumb, honestly. Like, th th that would be so upsetting. I really want to pull a double switch here. He shouldn't want to stay in. He literally has no reason to stay in here. He should want to switch right into the Beedrill. Or in the app, so that, that's actually really good because now I can get on my Stealth Rocks. Unless this is Defog Beedrill, I'm not really too concerned. And uh, that did a lot of damage, holy crap. <laughs> that did way more than I was expecting it to do. Do I want to take the chance of going for a Stone Edge here? Or just stack up on Hazards? Spikes could just really come in handy to weaken his team, although weakening this, this thing here wouldn't be too bad either. Oh, I don't want to risk a sucker punch. I really don't want to risk a sucker punch. Yeah, I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. I should have. I should have risked a sucker punch. Let's see. This thing hits absurdly hard with adamant life orb. Worst case, he could be adamant. And jump fluff, fluff. We chew one. We chew one. And acrobatics does not knock it out, unfortunately, just yet. I can probably U-turn with Jump Fluff, and then Mock Punch with Hitmonchan. Uh, I guess in that sense he still brings in the Beedrill, but I wouldn't be locked into Poison Jab. Yeah, I'm just gonna U-turn here. Oh no, what? Is he just going for knockoff? 
If he's just going for knockoff, I don't need my, my Yadagarasu here then. Or he does that. Okay. So he should knock off here, honestly. Like, there's no reason to not just knock off. Wake up! <laughs> oh, dude, that's so dumb. I hate this game. I just hate Pokemon. So yeah, we're gonna Mach Punch here. So he's got Knock Off, Mega Horn. No Sucker Punch, I'm guessing. Or he just didn't... Uh, I mean, if he did expect me to not Mach Punch, then I guess Play Roughing there wouldn't have been a bad play. Uh, the Beedrill comes in here. We can just Ice Punch that. Yeah, if this defogs, that's actually gonna be really annoying. Please be defog. I actually, I actually wouldn't even be upset if this was defog, honestly. Oh no, it just died. Awesome. I'll take that. <laughs> so down it goes. As in comes the terrifying Charizard. Uh, this is actually really scary. I have to ice punch here, I think. Oh. If this sets up, that could be really bad. What? I hate people. I hate the human race so much. It's actually just dumb. It's actually just dumb. <laughs> oh, I just want to get out of the low ladder. I just want to get out of the low ladder so badly right now. <laughs> he didn't even need the quick claw. Charizard outsped both of them. Why do you have that? There's no reason to have that. <laughs> That's just funny. That's just really funny, honestly. So we're gonna be able to get off a huge hit on this Lapras. I think definitely getting up that spike was was the better uh, decision. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna get another battle. I'm not gonna end it off on this on this tear. <laughs> Hello. Like I don't want to insult him and call him bad, but just who psychics a skunk tank? You you can literally hover over the Pokemon and be like, oh, it's, it's part dark. You know? <laughs> okay, we win. We're gonna we're gonna get another battle. Okay, so this team looks a little bit more scary and a little bit more fun. Let's see. This cannot be drought. This could be competitive. Uh, this is going to be a little bit annoying. I like the virus, actually, pretty cool. I'm going to just lead off Crustal because I don't want to get on my hazards. My stealth rocks are going to be really, really huge in this battle. Uh, the spin from Sandslash is going to be a little bit annoying, though, not going to lie. Just going to get up rocks here. I know he's going to go for the flinch. Or he just tricks me. Turn one. Awesome. Okay. That's actually kind of scary because he literally just Volt Switches here for free. Like, he has no reason to not just Volt Switch. I'm gonna switch in the Terminator here. Oh, I did not expect that, but I will gladly take that. So I kind of just want to shell smash here, actually, just to be aggressive. Yeah, so I'm gonna shell smash here. Because we're gonna be a plus two. Like, we're gonna be smacking things around either way. He could think, oh, I bring in Sand Slash and, and survive. Actually, you know what might have not been too bad of a play? Just going straight for the Fire Blast. Because Wigglytuff is part fairy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and then that way I could have just fire blasted it on the switch in. But then again, I am timid. So I might have not done entirely too much damage to it. Yeah, as in comes the Wigglytuff. I mean, I'll gladly just go for fire blast here. We should be able to easily live a moon blast. It's neutral. If he has thunder wave, that could be a little bit on the annoying side. Please don't have thunder wave. Dazzling gleam. Oh god, that did a lot. <laughs> that did way more than I was expecting. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Tornado! Please, Tornado! Oh no, don't miss, please. Oh, that's a terrible imper impersonation. I don't know why, but Terminator just kind of reminds me of Ar Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't know why, but it just, just kind of does. So, we managed to get rid of one Mon. That's great. We have our rocks up, which is also really nice. Scarf the Lectivire does outspeed, unfortunately. Uh, if he brings in the Sand Slash, I'm just going to nuke that in the face. What do you sucker punch here? Ah, oh, I should have shell smashed. I wanted a shell smash, like my gut was telling me, shell smash, Leo, shell smash, you want a shell smash, I know you want it, yeah, I didn't go with my gut. <laughs> I didn't go with my gut there, so, unfortunately, we don't do entirely too much with Terminator in this matchup. Uh, he's got no safe switch into my Hitmonchan either. I'm pretty sure, like, can we take a play rough? I want to say Larpard learns play rough, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I'm, I'm positive I have a team with this. Hitmonchan, Hitmonchamp here. We do live, 
But then the question is, should I Ice Punch or just Drain Punch? If he play roughs me, he's gonna put himself into range of where a max attack, not a max attack, but a max roll Ice Punch knocks him out. Uh, I can also bring in Skun Tank and just Poison Jab, honestly. Like, he's got no say switchings to, to Skun Tank either. Jump Pluff also kind of comes in and potentially just goes for U turn. I don't, I'm not too familiar with the damage outputs of Jump Pluff here. Actually, that's probably a lot more favorable for me then. To just. Yeah, I think I'd rather just do this, honestly. Because Psycho Punch isn't going to do too much. Yeah, I'll, I'll take this. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna bring in Jump Pluff here. We should knock him into range of where Life Orb is probably gonna knock him out depending on rolls. Yeah, as long as I don't get like an absolute min roll here, Acrobatics should should knock him out. So I'm just gonna go straight for the Acrobatics. There is a chance he's got the Thunder Wave, which could be a little bit annoying, but I'm not entirely too concerned about that as he's definitely in range and we're gonna live this knockoff relatively easily as down goes the Life Hard, which is really nice. It's one less uh, nuisance to worry about now. Having our rocks up still is also really, really good. I'm probably just going to U-turn out from the Sand Slash if he wants to bring it in. Uh, he could bring in the Rotom still. Yeah, like Rotom's not a bad switch in at all. Uh, he literally just goes for the Volt Switch here without losing absolutely anything. Do I still need this? Yeah, because this outspeeds the Electivire as well. This can still pressure his team. He's only got the Focus Sash, so it's not entirely too bad. So he's not gaining recovery every single time. Uh, what do I want to U-turn into, though? If I U-turn into Crustle, I think I'd have to hard switch right into Yadagarasu. I mean, regardless here, I have to U-turn. Like, there's, there's no other play, I'm pretty sure. Skuntank can now also just spam Crunch, which is really nice. So yeah, I'm just going to U-turn to get off the chip and bring in Crustle, because he's either going to Volt Switch, Air Slash, or Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, and he loses literally nothing in just going for the Volt Switch either. As he's going to bring in the Sand Slash, I'm fine with that. I'm going to switch right into Yadagarasu. If he goes for the knockoff, good play on him. But then I get a free switch into my Jump Pluff, which does apply a lot of pressure to his team. As he does end up making the better play and going straight for the Stealth Rocks. So I can just spam Revelation Dance here. It hits everything. We're going to be doing a lot of damage to everything as well. Yeah, that's that's pretty good damage. I'll gladly take that. Like, I'll click this again and knock something out here. Rotom's not switching in. Electivire's not switching in. As long as that Revelation Dance wants in, like, a really high max damage roll, then we should be in a pretty good position. I can also still live one Stealth Rock switching as well, so that could definitely uh, come in handy there. If I had gone for the Hurricane and missed, I would have cried and died a little inside. Could have also potentially gone for the Air Slash, but I really really didn't want to lock myself into Air Slash because of the Rotom and the Electivire here, so... This is still going to take a lot of damage. That's 51%, bro. That's that's respectable damage, honestly. Hmm. I think I just sack off Crustle here, in all honesty. Because I get a free switch back into my Jump Pluff, and I just click Seed Bomb. And Seed Bomb knocks out Electivire. We knock out the Sand Slash, and then I still have Yadagarasu to come in and pressure the Rotom. And between Skuntank and Hitmonchan, we should be able to beat the Ninetales. So yeah, I'm just going to sack off Crustle here. It literally does nothing in this game. It literally does nothing in this game. So it gives me the weak armor boost, which is kind of nice, not going to lie. And I may just go straight for the knockoff here. Well, actually, no. Hold on. Oh, that could have been a little bit bad, actually. Okay, never mind. Never mind. He's bad. Well, he's not bad. I, I really thought he would try to switch into Sand Slash there. I really, really thought he would try to switch into Sand Slash. But, I mean, this is still fine. Yeah, like, this comes in. This shit out speed. Oh, no. What if he scarfed? I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Oh, I think I'm fucked up. No, okay, good. Oh, that was a huge misplay. I should have brought in him on Chan. I should have 110% brought in Hitmonchan. That was that was a really risky play on my part, honestly, guys. That was a really risky play on my part to have done there. So yeah, I'm just going to Acrobatics this. This is going to do a lot of damage. Uh, the crit there honestly doesn't matter. The crit really doesn't matter. Because this just comes in. 
and we knock this out. The Sand Slash isn't a problem, and neither is the Ninetales, honestly. So yeah, down that goes. Uh, I'm fine with this coming in. Ice is gonna knock us out. He turns out to be leftovers. That could be a little bit annoying. Uh, Choice Bandit Crunch just wins. Yeah, I'm just gonna Choice Bandit Crunch this. Even if he has will o -Wisp, I'm pretty sure we still do enough damage. You're dying. <laughs> yeah, that just died. <laughs> That was that was no chance. No chance you were living that hit, dude. Yo, Skuntank for MVP. Skuntank for MVP, hands down. So, we're gonna bring in him on Chan. We definitely outspeed this, and we're gonna be able to knock this out. So, I'm gonna see how long the live has been, and then uh, make it into the game. Alright, guys, so I tried to get another battle, but it was just kind of against a really mean team kind of thing, Game of Bobber. But yeah, don't worry. I will be much higher on uh, the PU ladder for next PU live definitely want to get back into PU but all in all this team is actually really fun uh definitely enjoyed choice bandit skuntank holy crap man this thing this thing hits like an absolute truck like when tone first sent me the team I kind of questioned it but after this live and after the couple battles I've had with this team I really like this also uh shell smash Titanate is really cool really hoping to uh maybe use this some more in the future in some different kind of PU teams and yeah, with that being said, guys, if you did enjoy, make sure to hammer that like button down below. Let me know what you guys thought about the team, what you thought about the live, and the uh, PU tier in general. And with that being said, I'll see you all uh, later today or tomorrow, depending on whenever this goes up. So, yeah, later, everybody. Cause my brain and heart are both tied in the knot, and this hinders me from flying a lot. This causing me to show no emotion. But when I said I cared, I wasn't joking. But I guess it's too late for me to become broken. Now I'm living with no more pain, tears of hoping I'm just coasting Yeah, I said I'm coasting No more pain, tears, and hoping For real